So I rented a camper van for the next two weeks. I booked an automatic, they gave me a manual. So it's great to drive on the wrong side of the road, manual, and I haven't driven manual in six years. So wish me good luck. Welcome back to the Australia series and on this episode we'll be driving from Melbourne to Sydney. Hi everyone, my name is Marie and I'm from beautiful Eastern Canada. I explore and travel the world by myself or with friends to escape the 9 to 5. Make sure to subscribe and come along on this journey as we discover the most amazing places the world has to offer. in cows and it's the cutest let me show you we're on our way to the penguin parade every night the penguins get out of the water and go on the shore in their little houses so we're gonna go and see them I don't know if I'll be able to film but I'll tell you how it was Phillip Island is home to the largest little penguin colony in the world. Every night, you can experience the magic of watching them come home from the ocean to their burrows. The penguins were fun, they were super cute, and they were all there. So we've made it to our second stop on our road trip. We are at Wilson's Promontory, Wilson's Prom. <laughs> And we're gonna camp tonight. And tomorrow we'll make our way to Lake's entrance. We might have some time tonight to go see the beach because uh, the campsite is not far from the beach. So we spent a night here at Wilson's Prom and we're now on Norman Beach just having a look and I see they have some surf lessons behind me so I'm guessing it's a great surf spot and then today we're gonna make our way to Lake's entrance it's gonna be about two hours and a half three hours to get there so we stopped at Agnes Falls let's see what it looks like it's good to move our legs in between the driving because I'm doing all the driving and it smells like eucalyptus <sighs> smells great Burma 
about Horseshoe Bay Beach. We have a beautiful room here in Bermagui and we're right by the ocean. Malakuta to Bermagui and we spent one night here and now we're gonna make our way towards Jervis Bay where we got an Airbnb and hopefully it's gonna have some farm animals. Bay this morning and we just arrived in Coogee Beach. I have two things to say about driving in Australia. A lot of roundabouts and it's very hilly and with the manual car not easy. <laughs> in this week's episode we have driven a distance of 1400 kilometers in about 18 hours as we've made our way from Melbourne to Sydney. Join us next time as we explore the beautiful city of Sydney. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!